So guys, for the first step, you want to power off your virtual machine. Now once it's been powered off, you want to click on settings. Now once you're on this, you want to click on display. And then next to graphics controller, you want to select the third one, VBOX SVGA, and click on OK. And now we're going to power on our virtual machine again. Click on start. Now you want to click on devices on the top. If you do not see devices, you want to click on the host key plus C. Your host key is probably going to be the right control button on your keyboard. So you want to click on the right control button and then C. And then it's going to look like this. You want to make sure that you're signed into Windows. Then you want to click on devices and then click on insert guest edition CD image. And now you want to head over to File Explorer. Now once you're on this, you want to click on this PC. And then you want to click on CD Drive VirtualBox Guest Editions. Now once you're on this, you want to scroll down. If you have an Intel CPU, then you want to install this one. If you have an AMD CPU, you want to install the one that says AMD64. For me, I have an AMD CPU, so I'm going to install the second one. Click on Yes. Click on Next. Click on Next again. And then click on Install. So now once it's been installed, it's going to ask you to reboot now. Make sure that you have it selected and then click on Finish. Now once it's been restarted, we're going to log back into Windows. Now once you're back on Windows, you want to click on View, and then you want to click on Full Screen Mode, and then click on Switch. And now once you're on this, you want to head over to Search, and then type in Display Settings. Click on it. You want to make sure that your display resolution is going to be set to 1920 by 1080. Now you're done.